guys, Chris Garrett here with Health Quest Physical Therapy and the OEI. Today we're going to go over two more functional massage techniques that we use on a daily basis to help improve cervical motion in all directions. Alright, so the first technique that we're going to go over is just a general cervical flexion functional massage. So just like we talked about in our upper trap and levator scapular video, um, what we use is the, mo the passive motion to help create the lengthening of the muscle. So with this technique, what I like to show all my interns, we want to make sure that we have the most points of contact. That way we can control the neck easily and it's less work and more relaxing for the patient. So what we're going to work on is upper cervical flexion. So the motion with my body, I got my belly contact on her head gently. I'm not compressing down. And then my fingers are going to be um, back on, on the cervical musculature around the C2 area. So the slack is taken up into extension, so I drop my body a little bit. So I'm guiding the motion with my body as I bend my knees. My fingers go into the tissue, and then as I stand up, create that flexion. So this is an excellent technique that we use for headache patients or just general stiffness. Again, to be followed up with other techniques such as mobilization and then ultimately exercise. So the motion we're doing using my finger pads to get in, scoop the tissue, and down. I'm not pulling the skin. It should be pretty relaxing. All right, for our second technique, we're going to focus on the lower cervical spine. So that would be C2 and below. And this technique we use in conjunction with some of our facet traction mobilizations to help improve motion in all directions of those facets lower down. So to open a facet, if we're working on the right side of our neck, we know that flexion opens the facet on both sides. If I side bend her to the left, that opens it on the right, closes it on the left. And if I rotate to the right, it opens it on the right and closes it on the left. So we can use all of those motions together in conjunction. We would call it non-coupling in the lower cervical. So we can target on one facet. So we already did joint play, we did the assessment. We know that there's a, an area that we need to work on, so we can use that philosophy to help improve motion at that one level. So just like the flexion technique, we're gonna use body contact on the head so I can easily move her head. My left hand is the important part. So I'm gonna use my hand to keep her in deflection up to the level that we're working on. So I'm feeling with my right hand. I take up the flexion to the point where I feel it. I side bend with my body and then the rotation. So my left hand keeps it in flexion and rotation, it's kind of blocking. And then with my body and my right hand, I'm gonna go in. So side bending is the motion that we're gonna use. So I side bend um, to the right, get in the tissue, and then pull away in a cranial and lateral direction on the lamina and at the facet to open that one up. So I'm maintaining those other two motions to keep that facet open, and then as I pull, we're creating more opening. So this would be a facet traction function massage at C2, which would help motion at in all directions, so flexion extension, rotation, side bending. This is a great technique for, for all stiffness impairments, and then we would again follow it up with, you know, we jump back and forth to some of our mobilizations, back to, back to the massage, and then we always reinforce it with exercise. Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. If you liked our videos, please like and subscribe to our page at overheadathletics.com. Leave a comment at the bottom of the page for other techniques that you'd like to see.